Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to make an infinite scrolling background as you see here. You're going to learn how to animate the player so it animates as it goes up and down. You're also going to learn how to make a particle system that moves along with the player as it moves around. You can get the sprites for the player by going to littleguycgi.com. You'll just, uh, on the site, go to Game Visuals by clicking on this link. Scroll down, click on Game Assets. Scroll down and then you can just click on uh, where you see Vehicles and Mechs. Uh, these sprites will be provided to you free of charge. You'll just click on here and uh, you'll be taken to a place where you can download these sprites. Okay, with all that set up, what we're going to do is go to the near the top of the screen. I'm going to select the uh, preview button. I'm then going to left click. And now you can see we have our screen scrolling. And what we want to do is watch this just to make sure that this continues scrolling. Okay, we have this small space right here. I'm going to click the X button to get out of the preview window. Okay, we want to fix that space that we saw that should be fairly easy to deal with. Okay, to uh, deal with that, to uh, try to deal with that issue, we're going to click on this new scene. See this space right here? I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Here's our border right here. So I have this first image not starting right off where our uh, border is. So what we're going to do is adjust this and hopefully this will fix the issue. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back. I'm going to take this copy, move that to the side. Here's the border right here. So I'm just taking the, uh, the first space bright and I just now have this pretty much lined up with the border. I'm holding the middle mouse button to uh, pan the view. So see, here's the border there. So now it's lined up right there. So I'm holding the middle mouse button to pan the view. I'm going to take our second sprite. I'm just zooming in just to make sure I have this. Uh, This lined up, I'm gonna zoom back. Okay, so now with that lined up, that should fix the issue. Okay, so let's click the preview button. So we're just letting the screen scroll. Okay, we can see a slight line right here. Okay, as far as having a, a line, these two pictures if there's any kind of overlap here like when I uh, if I take this image move this over this image see when I hover here you can kind of see there's a space right there when I click the preview button that overlap that you see the amount of overlap will be the basic size of the space that you'll see uh, appear as the image scrolls so it should be a fairly decent space. Okay, and there it is right there. 
okay, we don't want that space. However, knowing how to have the space pop up is a good thing because then that lets us see how we can not have the, uh, the space pop up. Yeah, I apologize for any lag that you see in the uh, the video. In that last video, there was a space that you could see. What I'm going to do is show you how to, you can avoid that. So one of the ways we can avoid having uh, a space with this technique is what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, right click, select delete, click here, right click, select delete. I'm going to go to the top of the uh, screen now. And you see where we see this button that says toggle slash edit grid. I'm going to left click here. Then I'm going to select show grid. When we have, have this grid show, we will automatically turn on snapping in GDevelop. So I'm going to left click on space. Now left click and drag this out. I'm going to line this uh, sprite up with the edge of our border here. And it's a little hard to see that it's lined up with the uh, the border. It is though. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, select copy, right click, select paste. And this, uh, this is snapping. Uh, this image is snapping our space sprite. So what I'm going to do here is I want this to, this sprite to be totally lined up with one of the uh, grid lines right here. It's not uh, lined up. So what I can do is with this selected on, I have this, uh, let me move this out of the way to make this easier to see. See this block? When I left click and drag this, now I adjusted the size of this uh, sprite. So now this is totally lined up with this grid line right here. So now I'm going to take this second copy image and then line this up. So now this is lined up right with uh, the line the edge of the uh, grid line. So now with this setup, we should not have any concerns about having any kind of uh, visible spaces that spaces that we can see as we uh, have our infinite scrolling screen. So with this lined up, I'm going to go to this toggle slash uh, edit grid, turn that off by just unclicking this uh, check mark here. Okay, I switched computers. We'll be able to get a smooth uh, scroll screen here. My wife generously uh, is letting me use her computer to make this tutorial. Uh, with that setup, I was expecting this to not uh, have a space. Or I'll show you this. I'm going to turn the grid back on. I'm going to move this back once. Whether I move it back or not, it doesn't seem to matter. When we play, there's going to be a, a space that pops up uh, that we don't want. The good news is the fix is fairly easy. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. There it goes right there. What the fix seems to be is I'm going to click here, right click, I'm going to select delete. With here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the grid back on. So I'll select show grid. I'm just going to make this longer like this. And then by making this longer and then right clicking this, selecting copy, then right clicking and then selecting paste, lining this up, this seems to fix the issue. So now, when I click uh, the preview, we shouldn't see any kind of a uh, space now. So we'll let this play. I'm not sure why making it longer makes it take the space out. However, it, it, it works. Uh, as far as fixing the issue. So now we have an infinite scrolling background that should uh, just keep scrolling through. Just 
just letting it go long enough to make sure that uh, there, there is no space. So yes, it looks like we're good. So I'm going to click the X button to come out of that preview, that preview uh, window.